sovereignty, supreme power, or authority. It is God's sovereign right to do all things according to his good pleasure. Whether that quotation was meant for fear or comfort or both, that was one of the hardest things for me to unlearn from my Catholic upbringing. Hi, I'm Trish, and this is Feedback Cafe. This is not going to be a Christian bashing video. I hate those. I hate those. Um, there are so many wonderful things that I've brought into my spiritual path from my Christian and Catholic upbringing. And I have a lot of respect for everybody right to practice whatever they feel is right for them. This is about my life's experiences and why I have chosen a different path and why I chose Holda in particular as my witch mother. Or did she choose me? So much of what I was taught as a Catholic child um, was good. Or at least it was coming from a good place. But as I grew into adulthood, I found I just didn't, didn't agree with a lot of the Catholic teachings. I can't speak of other Christian faiths because I've never been involved in any of those. Hold on. Holda is the savior of baby souls, unbaptized children. This is where our connection began. According to the Catholic Church, we are all born sinners, dirty, unworthy. We are nothing in the church's eyes if we are not baptized. Go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. My son was nine when he was baptized. I was forced by my ex-husband to have him baptized in the Catholic Church. The church told me if I didn't do this, my son would never go to heaven. He would forever be in limbo, nothingness, fear. They tried to manipulate me with fear. But quite honestly, I was more fearful of my ex-husband. Now there are many more reasons why I don't agree with uh, the Catholic Church's teachings. But this is Holda's niche. Those children will always have a place with her. Dirty and unworthy as they are. I really have no qualms with the Abrahamic God. He is just one of many gods, and like humans, all gods can be cruel and loving. I feel that it's ultimately man who decides the characteristics that they wanted their gods to have, and throughout time, from generation to generation, through the Bible, the Gospels, folklore, this is what we were taught we should believe. Regardless, some of us need that spiritual connection to source, and more often than not, this is done through divine beings, through gods. So many years ago, when I reached the fork in the road of my spiritual journey, you can understand maybe why I was a little fearful to turn my back on that sky god. But fear is sometimes the driving force to change. And it was when I decided to take the path less traveled, paganism. I soon discovered it wasn't a path less traveled, but it was a quieter path, a simpler path, more natural. And as I explored this path, I started to unlearn all the toxic things that I learned and discover new things. Still, I have always had a hard time 
with the concept of self-sovereignty. This year has been about my journey to wellness. It's been about healing and realizing my worth and my self-sovereignty. I've made some big changes to my life. I've made some big discoveries about myself. And I have discovered my self-sovereignty. I've looked back on the events of my life. Some big, some small, some joyful, some painful. I've looked back at my childhood, I've looked back at my adolescence and my adult life, my life as a mother, a friend, a wife. I've looked back at all of my traumas and at my will to survive. I looked back at my moment of awakening. I knew at the start of the year I would always be of service to Hoka. Other gods may come and go, but she has my devotion. She wanted me with a fresh start, a clean slate. I'd hear her say in my head, do the magic. Do the magic you've been putting off. Do the work. And I did. Hold on, my witch mother, my queen, my universe, my God. I have not shared a lot of my journey with Hold on. Most of it is personal, but you can be rest assured that a lot of work and thought and love and time has gone into my relationship with her. If you know of her, you'd know she'd accept or expect Hold on is a spinner of fate, but she taught me that through magic I can change fate. Do the magic, do the work, make your own destiny. We are divine beings. Divinity is not only outside of us, but deep within each of us. When we are open to this, self sovereignty is a little more attainable, easier to grasp. Self-sovereignty, the moral or natural right of a person to have bodily integrity and be the exclusive controller of one's own body and life. My particular brand of heathenry is my own. It's unlike anybody else's. It's unique to me, as all of our paths are and should. I've prepared for my dedication through offerings, through art, through blood sacrifice, and I am ready. I've made her candle, her incense, and her oil to her liking. I've put a symbol of dedication on my back and in my heart. I am ready to give my and I have claimed my self-sovereignty.
like to be happy.